well, this satellite back in 1962 called Alouette, and it was to sample the upper atmosphere. It had two cool inventions in it, uh, the batteries, but also this weird antenna on the lower right. That's sort of like if you stick your tongue out. If, if, uh, if you stick out some piece of metal that's flat, but you run it through a little roller, it'll roll out like your tongue. And then, without gravity, you can then deploy an antenna for many, many meters with, in weightlessness. And it, it's a wonderful, smart way to deploy a space antenna. And we patented it, as these guys from the Havilland Special Projects and Research, and uh, they formed a company called Special Projects and Research, SPAR, that then, when Canada got invited to be part of the space shuttle in 74, 75, SPAR got the contract to build Canada, which then flew 100 times in the shuttle. And uh, it grabbed the Hubble telescope and released it. And it allowed us to fly again after the Columbia accident, because we could fix stuff. And ARM was a revolutionary idea. Invented, built, uh, everything here in Canada. And we sold four of them to NASA for a profit. But based on that, uh, we got invited to build a huge arm for the International Space Station. Huge, seven-jointed, complex thing that's up on the space station right now. It's used pretty much every week on station. And as the shuttles came up with new pieces, Canada Arm 1 would hold up the piece, Canada Arm 2 would reach down, grab the piece, go up, and build it onto the station. So if anybody ever asks you who built the International Space Station, Canada built the International Space Station. We did that. <laughs> The stuff we learned from this robot, the algorithms and the control mechanisms and how to build joints, is used in robots in mines and in uh, nuclear power plants and in operating rooms. And here's a two-armed robot that's in the Foothills Hospital in Calgary that uh, does brain surgery. And the surgeon, um, here he sits uh, using hand controllers in a different room and they can operate this robot remotely, and in fact, because it's remote, the patient and the robot are inside an MRI machine so that the, the surgeon can see three-dimensionally what's going on, and we've removed uh, many, many brain tumors and done brain surgery using that same spin-off and knowledge that was acquired by giving people an overall distant challenge and letting people then realize by bringing those people together that the uh, that they can come up with stuff that was never invented before. And it's, so it's financially and technologically a huge success for Canada, but it's so important, in fact, that it's culturally significant for us. And it's uh, on, our, on our most common bill now, on our $5 bill, is, uh, is the product of this. It's become ingrained in Canadian culture. And it's just a great example of what can happen in a sustained effort when you give people both the enabling technology as well as the overall bill. Um...